This was my first crash that I ever had riding the BMX track since my accident. And I was positive that I just broke my leg and I was going back in a wheelchair. Is my leg broken? Is my leg okay? So a lot of you that watch the channel all the time, you guys are probably wondering what we've been doing lately. The truth is, it hasn't been a lot of videos at all. And I'm gonna tell you exactly why in this video here today. We both battled two crashes that just came out of nowhere and set us back pretty good. And the crash that you guys just saw in the intro of this video, I'm gonna be breaking it down, telling you exactly what happened to me and what my current situation is, cause it was scary. It was really scary. And I'm grateful to say that my leg isn't broken. I was riding the track that day. I went there with my little brother. He was actually training for the worlds and he was going by himself. So I figured I would just go ride with him. And I've been feeling really good just in general, just really healthy. I've been working out a bunch. So I got my BMX bike and just started cruising around the track. I did feel pretty tight though. My body felt really tight. I don't know, there's something about when you're standing up and pumping. That's, if you're not doing that consistently all the time, like, it's really hard for your body to mimic that in everyday kind of stuff. So but I didn't feel strong. I felt a little loose. I was going around. Everything was just kind of a second off. Like it just felt like delayed, but I still wanted to just continue on and get a full solid lap in. And uh, once I got to the second turn, I just felt terrible. I even pumped around a turn and I ended up like kind of like almost falling to the right side of the track, which I really have never done before. But thankfully my wheels kept me upright and I lined up on the right side of these rollers and I started pumping through them and then out of nowhere disaster strikes and I lost my rhythm my body just couldn't keep up with the pumping my legs gave out I went to go take my right foot off to get ready to catch myself because I knew I was crashing at this point but then when I unclipped I put my foot down I ended up running over my foot really bad you can see that the tire isn't even spinning it's actually dragging across the ground so that locked my foot underneath there so I couldn't even put my foot to the side if I was able to come to a stop so now now I ended up having the right foot out to the side, locked over, and I'm falling to my right side, and I felt my leg starting to twist sideways really bad. So I thought that my leg just spun around and I broke my leg again. Thankfully, as I was falling, you could see that as soon as I cleared that hump, my foot corrected itself and my toe went straight, so I ended up just falling onto my side. But my main concern was still my leg at this point. You can hear me ask Maddie if I broke my leg or not because I can't feel my leg. I don't know if my leg is sideways on the ground. Is my leg broken? Is my leg okay? Your leg's fine. Oh, okay. Your leg's okay. I'm okay. I have no idea. That's a weird thing with my situation. My feeling is way off. Like if I cut my skin, I could feel it. If I damage the stuff on the inside, I could feel it. But like my senses of like where I'm at at any given moment, I can't really feel that. So uh, my main concern was thinking that my leg might have been spun around sideways. So I was so nervous that my leg had just snapped and my brother was going to give me the bad news. But thankfully my leg wasn't spun around. But my little brother did have to untangle me. You could see my body was all all wrapped up in the bike like we had to get my legs out of there get the handlebars out of there thankfully he was there for that I would have been stuck there for a while if it wasn't the case but once I was able to sit back up which took a while to get to that position I started assessing what was wrong with me and after my adrenaline wore off the pain that I was feeling was in my knee so my knee took the damage of that one when my legs spun around so my knee felt super sore I didn't know if I had any serious damage or not Dude, you were supposed to fall on that one back there. Look at that. <sighs> oh, everything can feel. That's impressive, huh? What? Can't be bad. I just want, no, I just want to see if there's anything. Nothing, you're good. Probably not. I don't think you're okay. I took my time getting back up to my feet and starting to walk and put pressure on it just in case something bad did happen to my knee. So the next couple of days sucked. My knee was hurting a bunch and my leg was feeling really, really slow and hard to control. Harder than it usually is because usually my foot drops down and I'm not able to control that well. But when everything is damaged, it's that much worse. So I was walking really, really slow around and I just had to be careful. I knew I couldn't work out anymore. I couldn't go and ride on the Peloton or go for a bike ride or do any kind of other workout because my situation but I ended up scratching my arm and that was really annoying for the next couple of weeks waiting for that to heal and I know it sounds weird but I feel like uh, if I get a cut on my left side compared to my right side my right side heals way slower I don't know if I just have like worse circulation in the right side of my body since my crash or not but like it's just weird I feel like the cuts last longer and of course it's on my right side and you can see my scar that I'd got from it 
I mean, it's alright. It's not bad at all. And at this point, we're all healed up. I have nothing to worry about. I don't have to worry about putting on my shirt and it, the scab dragging against the edge of my sleeve or like when I'm laying in bed, putting it down on the side, like nothing like that. And at this point, I am healed. I am riding again. I am walking again. I'm working out again. So it just took a little while to get to that point. And I'm just so grateful that I didn't break my leg. I was terrified. Then I broke my leg in that moment. I was just thinking you were going to be stuck in a wheelchair again. And it was on my right side. I'm sure that was going to heal really, really slow. It was just going to be miserable. And I'm just so grateful that it didn't happen. So, so grateful. So now I'm going to tell you a little bit about my brother's situation because he had a really rough crash when he was out on his gravel bike in North Carolina on this crazy setup on the side of a mountain that he was riding. He's crazy for doing this kind of stuff, but I'm going to have him tell you what happened right now. So Matt, let's talk about your injury. Why you've been uh, kind of uh, a little bit slow getting back on the bike and taking your time. Time. Yeah, I Why don't you uh, show everybody what happened real quick. I messed up my palm. What else hurt when you landed? And then I messed up. You think you could show us? My oh, hip. Oh, it's the worst. I got hate a nice that. one on there. Scabbing up nicely. Um, I was doing a gravel race called the Bootlegger 100. It's a 107 mile race. And then at mile 30 or 29, I should say, um, we were descending down the side of a mountain, and I had slick tires on, which did not help my case. Not going to blame it completely. Let's just say, first and foremost, you were not on a mountain bike. No, no, I was on a gravel bike. No suspension, pretty tiny tires, and we were doing, like, going down the side of a mountain, like, rumbling, like, crazy. And I was getting a little too confident. I thought it was kind of cool, like, kind of sliding a little bit. And uh, sure enough, I slid, the, but the front wheel slid this time. And then it went out, and I just put my hand down and just like destroyed my hand and destroyed my hip. So I got right back on the bike and started pedaling and my handlebars were twisted and brake levers were in, my derailleur broke and it was just chaos. And that was at mile 30. And it's then 70-ish 70, uh, 70 percent. I had 77 miles left. So I That's pretty crazy. much just figured it out and ran this course. I completed the race, so that was cool. That but is awesome. uh, I just had a, like a nice gouge on my palm and then it was actually healing nicely until I ripped the scab off yesterday. Yeah. Oh, no! you opened up your scab. Maddie had a really rough crash recently. Oh, that's a real bummer. Back to, back to the baseline. Oh my goodness. So, this has been hectic, man. Now we're kind of back to where we're at. Yeah, well, he's all right though. There's nothing damaged like terribly. Yeah, it's just fine. he's trying just to wait for stuff to heal. It's annoying. Worst position for somebody who rides their bike every yeah. single day of their life. Mm -hmm. So you kind of have to take a break every now and then. Yeah. So yeah, it's been a rough couple of weeks for us and that's why we've been slacking on the videos and we will get back in filming videos again. It's just been hectic over here. So I'm just glad I didn't break my leg. I'm glad my brother only has these cuts that he has to deal with and hopefully they heal up sooner than later. But one thing I want to bring up is my little brother is heading over to Grand Prairie, Texas this week where he's going to a another USA BMX competition. I'm not going to be making it out there, but Maddie's going to be out there. He's going to be doing the Mongoose Jam with his sponsor out there. So if you guys are in the Texas area, go on out there, go enjoy. It's going to be awesome, especially the Mongoose Jam, hanging out with Maddie, just doing a classic BMX event, which is so much fun. And if you can enter the competition, that would be super cool as well. Maddie's also going to be out there judging. I also have a video that is going to be coming out in the next day or so, where we're going to make a huge announcement with my little brother and X Games. And I am so excited to share this news for you. But either way, hope you guys enjoyed this one, and we will see you guys in the next one. Peace.